Between each of these vertebrae, these discs are essential for the mobility of the spine, but they wear out and are responsible for painful back pain, causing osteoarthritis. It is the most common joint disease in the world. At the moment, no treatment exists. However, these researchers are seeking solutions to regenerate damaged joints. Osteoarthritis affects millions of people around the world. The disease gradually destroys the cartilage located at the end of bones. Today, symptoms are treated mainly with painkillers and anti-inflammatories. In the most severe cases, surgery is needed to replace the affected joint. The most problem is uh, the pain. I have every day a lot of pain. Uh, I'm stiff. Uh, you can do not everything you want to do, like uh, uh, work. The problem in joints is that the cartilage wears out, so there's degeneration of cartilage, bone changes, and the inside of the joint is inflamed. There are some treatments to repair localized cartilage defects, but we don't have uh, techniques to completely repair a joint when there is osteoarthritis in the joint. Research on the subject is progressing. The Erasmus University of Rotterdam is contributing to a European project that aims to develop innovative therapies. One of the goals, to regenerate the damaged cartilage. The deteriorated area is filled with molecules like this. These molecules are developed to verify if the treatment succeeds in improving or promoting tissue repair. There are already stem cells in the joint. What we do is use molecules that will act on these cells where it is damaged. When stimulated, these cells create new, healthy and stable tissues. Repairing cartilage is a daunting task, but it's not the only thing researchers are focused on. The project intends to develop multiple tools to tackle other issues, such as inflammation. What we try to do is deliver drugs to the cartilage, the, de the degenerated cartilage, in order to regenerate it, and at the same time we try to inhibit the inflammation going on in the structures around uh, the cartilage that more or less also cause the pain in these osteoarthritic patients. The ambition of so-called targeted therapy is possible thanks to nanomedicine. At Imperial College London, scientists encapsulate active substances in nanoparticles called nanocarriers. They work as a kind of vehicle that releases the drug to its required location. We're able to control the degradation of these nanoparticles in the tissue we've chosen. And most importantly, we'd like to be able to control the duration of the drug's effects. We try to heal or treat the tissues with the treatments they need and uh, hence target different types of processes in one joint. The research is promising. Nevertheless, it will take several years before clinical trials begin.